satanic ritual, blood drinking, baby eating, let me say that again, baby eating right. bastards that are running your country and your world. He has outed them to the point where it's going to blow your mind and it's going to come back around to why you have to study hyperdimensional tactics. Ladies and gentlemen, Otto Skorzny was a member of the SS. Remember? Yeah. That's what he looked like when he was the bodyguard of Adolf Hitler. Otto Skorzny was an imposing man. He had the hands of a man that looks like he was wearing the gloves of a baseball. That's how big he was. A very tall and imposing man, and he was almost like the right hand of his Fuhrer. He loved his Fuhrer and did everything he could to watch for him. When the Fuhrer and the Germany was attacked, and actually the Fuhrer was put into power in order to destroy Germany, not to help it. The Fuhrer is Schickelbrugger. That's his real name. And Schickelbrugger is part of the Rothschild family. Mm. The Vatican put him into power because remember the Rothschild, if you look up under the Catholic dictionary or the Catholic uh, concordance or the large book that deals with the Britannica, if you look up the word Rothschild, it says bankers for the Vatican. Rich. Know that Otto Skorzeny was an intimate uh, personage in the life of the Third Reich. Now Otto Skorzeny was living in Florida because he was exonerated at all charges at the Nuremberg trials. Because he was the bodyguard, he did not get in in indicted because they could not find anything wrong with him. Otto Skorzeny <laughs> Otto Skorzny got his Führer out of Germany after he shot the double in the face. A pilot named Hannah Reich spirited the Führer out of Germany and into Italy. And they took Skorzny with them. They landed, and the Führer stayed in the Vatican until he had minor plastic surgery, learned the superficial rites of the Mass, was positioned in South America at a small abbey where he did Mass for a while, and then taken back into the United States where your Fuhrer lived at Camp David in Bethesda, Maryland. Mm. Your Fuhrer had the distinction, and I forgot his name, and I'll get his name for you, but he changed his name and died at the ripe old age of 114 years in 2004. He was the oldest man in America, and you remember that every time they show you that, oh, here's the oldest man in America, they usually give you a picture of him. At the time when they talked about the oldest man in America dying, and they said what his name was, they never showed you a picture. Right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is a family portrait that Otto Skorzeny gave to the author Eric Orion Berman. Eric Orion Berman was actually in love with his daughter. And his daughter, the Eric Orion, they knew he was a Jew. But it was all right because they were in America and he was doing right by his daughter. His daughter raved about Eric and loved Eric. And what Eric, what, what Otto did was one day pull Eric aside and say, come here, I want to tell you a few things. They didn't know who Otto was. He didn't know who Otto was until he revealed to Eric who he really was because he was dying. And over the period of time that Otto Skorsny was alive before he passed, he outed everybody in the Bush family. Not only did he out them, he had a shoebox full of pictures. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Borman, Reinhard Gillen, Otto Skorsny as a youth, Joseph Mengele, and George Scherf and his wife. Now I want you to look at these pictures because they're very faint, they're old, they were taken back in the 1930s. And it's very difficult. I want you to settle in with this and take a look at it. Look at the picture, and I will go forward and we'll come back to it again. Ladies and gentlemen, here you have, running for senator, Prescott Bush and his wife, along with his son, George W. H. Bush, or H. W., or George Herbert Walker Bush. Check. Okay, another picture, and they're faded, so I had to, this is very, very difficult. Another picture of them, here they are, here's Herbert Walker, I mean here's Prescott, and there he is again. Okay, <laughs> keep your eyes peeled. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to Prescott Walker Bush and his father, Samuel Prescott Bush. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to George Scherf Jr., a.k.a. George Herbert Walker Bush. Mm. Mm -hmm. And they say you are the company you keep. Okay. Jack. He is dressed in a German naval officer's, not officer, a, a naval academy of the Germans. He and Martin Bormann, who became Hitler's money man in the Nazis. Now just keep a pace with me. I told you that the father here, his name is George Scherf. He is George Scherf Jr. That's his name. Samuel or Prescott? No. This is George. This is George Scherf. His name, remember, he is not George. He is not Prescott or Samuel's son. He is George Scherf's son. He was commissioned by Hitler to spy when he was 16, 14, 15, 16 years of age for the Hitler Youth. He joined up with the Navy, the U.S. Navy, when he was 16, and because of Prescott.